I don't know what it is about her. It's pretty much the only woman I feel threatened by. Please. No, for real. You feel threatened by her? Yes. Gosh. Annyeonghaseyo! <laughs> My name is James and this is Mark and welcome to another mukbang. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe because we're on our road to 10k subscribers. So please, and also if you're new to our channel, uh, please answer these questions in the comment section. Where are you from? What's your favorite food and how did you find us? On today's mukbang, we are going to be eating Korean street food. Mm. We happened to stumble upon a Korean festival, festival that was happening in a neighboring city. And we're like, why don't we just pick up a bunch of food? Um, I've never had Korean street food in terms of actually being in Korea. So I'm going to have Mark walk us through what we have going on today. You had, you had a lot of this food in restaurants, but not like getting it from the street. Exactly. Right? Okay. Yeah. So cool. let's cool. start from the left. All right. So this is called Bul Ojungo, which is... Um, a whole squid that's been skewered and it has a really good spicy sauce to it. Mm. Um, right here is sunde, which is a uh, Korean blood sausage. Yeah, we'll show you guys in a second. And then right here is tteokbokki, and I'm sure a lot of people know what that is. Uh, in the middle, we have Korean uh, hot dog, but it's just a corn dog. But, I'm so excited but for But Korean this. people call it hot dog. And then we have some kimbap right here in front of James. Which is like Korean style sushi rolls almost, but there's no rolls, yeah. yeah, there's no fish in these ones at least. All right, let's get started. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, we have our beer. We probably look all calm and collected right now, but this was quite an ordeal to put together. So I feel like this beer is going to be tasty. Oh, yes. We had it in the freezer. So it's good. You sir, toxic. Great. Okay, what are you gonna eat first? I wanna try the sundae first, actually. Okay. So, it's, this is one of those things where um, people will have a hard time eating, <laughs> knowing what it is. Yeah. But once you're used to it, like it's really addicting to eat. Mm. Well, I haven't had sundae in a while. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do another one. Mm. <laughs> so there's just a little dipping sauce right here. It's just salt. Yeah. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go into the squid here. It was super fun watching the guy cook it. Cook it, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. It's like a, is there a gochujang sauce or something on top of it? Mm -hmm. I saw him spreading something like it was barbecue sauce. Uh-huh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> so they cooked it as a whole squid, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't know they were, they were going to cut it up for us. Yeah. yeah, the dilemma we had was this place only took cash and Mark had $40 on it. Yeah, forty dollars, and I had five dollars, so we combined it, and this is what we were able to get. Well, actually, I paid card with this, so yeah. this was already forty something, huh? Yeah. Hmm. All right, popoki time. Hmm. Mm. The last time we had popoki is when we made it, the the carbonara style. Yeah. So, it's lightly drizzling outside, but I think that makes this food taste even more like, mmm, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is about that, but oh, it's a little spicy, guys. I thought we agreed no spicy <laughs> in we? the mukbang. Remember, because we I've been sweating so much in the last couple ones, I'm like over it. <laughs> All right, I want to dig into this because I've been waiting for months to get this. So it's like battered. I don't know how many times it's been battered, but 
think I might do a little mayo on mine. Oh, this ketchup is new. Oh, I think I just bought it. Oh, yeah? Because I I think a, uh, a few weeks ago, you went through a condiment purge. Oh, yeah. Through the fridge. We like to throw away condiments that have been there in a while, even though it's still good. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just do it first. Ooh. Ooh. Well, you're doing all of it. You're committing. Yeah. Okay, I'll just do a little bit. And then I also brought mayo. Oh my god. Mm. I'll just stick it here. <laughs> Cheers. Oh my god. Mmm. Super crunchy, huh? Mm-hmm. Mmm. It's so good. It has the fluffiness of the corn dog batter, but then the crunchiness of like tempura or katsu or something. I like, like this a lot. It looks heavy, but it's lighter than like the American corn dog. Huh? Yeah. Like oh my God, the, it's so good. The batter is better in my opinion. Mm. I mean, it's kind of weird to show how the bat inside the batter looks like. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah. There's like, like green onion or something inside the batter too. It's so Korean. <laughs> I'm gonna set my guy down here for a second. Oh, so we could just. Enjoy I mean, everything. we can enjoy it. So, because we ran out of cash, we wanted to get the rolled kin kinpop, right? Yeah. But we ended up going to this store that had it, but it's a little bit different. So this one back here is smelt egg, there's squid ink, and then this one's just spam. Mm. So not quite exactly what we wanted, because I imagine when you get street food, they, they serve it in the roll because you could just eat it like, right? Or do they still chop it they up? They still cut it. Oh. That doesn't seem very street food like. When I think of street food, I think of like portable, like on a stick. Oh, you could, or... you could do both ways. Oh, okay. But street food is also when you just eat at the cart. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, this one just is like smelt eggs. You guys can see the orange in there. Hmm. Oh, I love everything. Hmm. So, when we stumbled upon this um, festival yesterday, I asked Mark, did it remind him of Korea? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. And there was all these other vendors outside of food that was selling, like, I don't even know what they're selling, but they're very... Like cosmetic and dry fish and just really random things from Korea. What I appreciate is I feel like people are very passionate about having you come to their booth like this one girl had this gold microphone and i don't even know what she's saying but i was like i want to buy what she's selling, selling sunday and the uh muscle soup well it worked yeah, we got the <laughs> yeah. Mm. <sighs> oh my god it's dangerous so, um, in Southern California, like our version of street food is like thirty dogs, or like hot, do like mm -hmm. hot dog carts, right? Or taco mm -hmm. carts. What else is there? Oh, food trucks getting popular. Now. Oh yeah, food trucks. Yeah. What is one thing uh, that's not here that you wish was here? Um, hot dog is a really I used to really like getting that or the pungopang or i think japanese people call it the um what's it called taiyaki or is it the oyokayakayadon the the fish shaped one. Oh, never mind then i don't know what that one's mm. called and then <laughs> during the winter time they have this thing called kerampang which is egg bread it's mm. really good it's just this really freshly made bread with a hard, like an egg in the middle like a hard-boiled egg? Yeah. Hmm. 
and it's really good in the winter time because it's because it's so hot mm. and you just eat it, it warms you up that for sure i've never had right i don't i don't think, think i had that so. before yeah this i mean all of this tastes great with beer do they have beer like can you drink beer on the streets in korea mm, i don't know like walking and drink i don't know maybe mm. So for me, like, when you get to the point where you could kind of choke yourself with oh. the stick, uh -huh. I have to like push it down a little bit. What's, well, how do you eat it? Do you eat it from the side at that point? I think I eat it from the side, yeah. So I, I just push it down so I can just <clears throat> keep going from the front. Mmm. Mmm, that's so good. We're totally gonna come back and get that. The corn dog? Mm hmm. It's so delicious. It's familiar, but not. <laughs> so, that... I mean, I also had a corn dog that had french fries in the batter. We have to find time. that. I, I was just about to say that's the other one I wanna try. It looks so good, too. So letting you guys know behind the scenes, we had not planned to do this mukbang at all. No. We kind of had to last piece this minute, one together. Last minute change. Because, should I even say what we're planning to do? Or? Sure. So um, Mark had an idea to do tomahawk steaks. And this is inspired by a views on the road. Mm-hmm. Because uh, her husband, Robert, was eating it in one of the videos, and we're like, we want one of those. Mm -hmm. So, Mar found a butcher really close by to us. We showed up and did not realize it wasn't just ready for them to slice and go because we're getting dry aged tomahawk. Mm -hmm. Did they have any available? Mm -mm. So, what we ended up doing, you'll guys see it in a few weeks, we got two slices or two, like a big piece reserved. It'll, it'll be enough for each of us to get a piece. We set that aside and it's just in their fridge thing and it's sitting there until it hits at least 30 something days yeah right now it's seven days so old. we have to wait three weeks but we we prepaid for it so we're committed mm -hmm. i keep getting the what oh, is this part um <laughs> bone of the squid they have one cartilage bone in the middle mm. It makes the beer taste so much better too, huh? I would think. I'm scared when we go to Korea. Because I'll just want to eat the I whole time. Too. We have to balance it with doing a lot of activities because I want to get my appetite back. Mm -hmm. right. And when we're getting the squid, a lot of people were also ordering the squid, I felt like. Oh, yeah? But then they also had pork belly skewers, beef skewers, chicken skewers, um, pork ribs. Yeah, I could have eaten all of that. Well, the funny thing is we went there yesterday and then we came back today. <laughs> so maybe tomorrow we'll go back one more time because it'll be gone. <sighs> I like the sundae a lot more than I usually do. For me, like, I'm one of those ones that I can't eat too many pieces because the texture starts to get to me but today it's like I don't know, it's really good maybe it's because I haven't had it in a while oh yes hmm <laughs> I think it all worked out because I've been sprinkling here eating this 
even though I really wanted steak, I feel like this is more suitable to like the, the weather. weather. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, <clears throat> if you had to choose one of the food items to eat for the whole week, which one would you choose? Oh, sorry. The um. Corn. The corn dog. I'm gonna be practical and say this because oh. at least there's rice protein and a little bit of vegetable. And I, I think I could eat this longer without getting sick. I'm sure I get sick of this eating it every day <laughs> for every meal, no? Yeah. It's really good though, but. You were smart in just doing it on all of it. It's cute, they even use the chopstick for the stick, not even like a, you know, how they usually use like a oh, shish kebab yeah. stick or something. Oh no, I didn't do that thing that you suggested. Because I don't want to choke. So what do you do? You just like... Push it down. Not all the way down. Well, it's up to you. You do you, boo. <laughs> Are you going to one bite it? No. <laughs> Open wide. Mmm. Which one would you eat all week? Mm. How about this? You can eat anything the whole week, but you also get rice with it. Maybe this. Okay. Or it's a pokey. Hmm. I'm so pleased right now. Hmm. Ooh, what's that piece? What is that? I have to try it. <laughs> it's like it looks very um I think it's worth like The body and the legs connect. Because I see these. And two become one. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, so you can even put like a piece of squid with your, um, oh, the squid with the piece of the kimbap. So, what are you doing this weekend? Mm. We went on a date night last night. Mm hmm. Like an unplanned date night. Oh, and we thought I finally James finally watched Demolition Man. Do you regret me watching the movie? Cause <laughs> what happens when I watch a movie is I start acting like I'm a character from it. So the first thing I did when I came out, I was like barely awake, and I came out and I was acting like Sandra Bullock's character, and Mark was not humored. Mm -mm, I was like, no, it's too early for this. Actually, uh, when I'm have extra energy mark always says oh you're hyper mm -hmm. same with Hedy. like me and Hedy are very similar like we get hyper and then mark's like you gotta calm down a little bit you're actually never that hyper not in now the I think about it. well just in general you're not that hyper <laughs> it was a great movie mm -hmm. did not seem like a movie mark would like initially but then there were definitely elements to it that were like, yeah, this is something Mark would like. For instance, um, me and Mark both like uh, the Sandra Bullock movie called The Net. Mm -hmm. And it's really when she, she was doing things on the internet that I don't think people were really doing it. Like mm. booking flights on a plane, ordering pizza from mm. home. But like they already, Getting a virus. Yes. Even back then. Yeah. And yeah. they were like ahead of its time. Yeah. So to the, a degree, when I was watching Demolition Man, those same themes were like apparent too. Like, I forget. Like, oh, the, there's, a, there's a scene where the car self-drives. And like when people first watch that, they're probably thinking, that's never going to happen. Now it's happening. Now it's a thing. And I'm just like, huh. So I think he likes movies that are ahead of its time. And the same thing goes with like his, his taste in music too. Like... He, he enjoys a Korean singer, Amjua. <laughs> if any of you guys know who she is, even if you don't know, just write in the comments, like, I love her. He will, that will make his day. 
I don't know what it is about her. It's pretty much the only woman I feel threatened by. Please. No, for real. You feel threatened by her? Yes. Gosh. Because he just idolizes her. Mm. Right? But she was always doing things, and everyone was like, what is she doing now? Like, what's going on? And then, like, a year or two years later, everyone would be doing it. And even, like, some of the things came to America, too, and that she had um, kind of, like, pioneered. Well, yeah. I also like reading articles. Like, there's this one where I saw, um, like, this publication, this magazine from 1930s. They had a contest of fashion designers to um, predict what the fashion would look like in the year 2000. Really? And there's some really interesting drawings. Were any, like, pretty spot on? Or was it all very, like, extreme... Some of them were very extreme. Like, I remember, like, this is one, like, dress that had, like, built-in, I don't know, like, a light bulb. So, you, wherever you go, you don't have to worry about turning on the lights. <laughs> Something like that. We might need to get this for dinner. The corn dog? The mm -hmm. hot dog? Oh my god, so good, guys. Yeah, Mark's like totally right. Like when you eat fried food, you kind of like can't do too much, but this one makes you feel like you're not eating anything fried. Ooh. I'm actually eating a lot. Good. That means no dinner. <laughs> <laughs> James hates it when I say that. You did a good job at displaying everything. Just took everything <clears throat> out of the package, put it on the little platter. So, back to the movie, you know, there are a couple of movies that James really loved and he really wanted me to watch. So I feel like you got to watch a movie that I really r like watching mm -hmm. when I was a kid. I think one of the movies that James made me watch it was Freaky Friday. <laughs> You didn't white, like oh, white chicks. Oh, white yeah, chicks, white Mean chicks Girls, good. Freaky Friday, uh, Parent Trap. I didn't make you watch those. I, I know, know if I Mean Girls and White Chicks, I was going to be like, if this is going to work out, you have to watch the movie. I made him wear pink on October 3rd. And he was like, what's October 3rd? And I was like, just wear pink. <laughs> just listen to me. Mm, you're wearing pink right now. This is the shirt I wore on that day. <laughs> Thanks for calling out me out for re rehashing an outfit. It was October 3rd this week or last week? Last week. Mm. Oh my gosh. This month's going by fast. Which reminds me, are we going to participate in uh, Movember again this year? Because I didn't like that last year. I think I might make a donation though. What, are we, what do you think? Should we do it again? Oh, this is really good. I feel like our last couple of mukbangs has just been the foods. Not that the food early on when we started this channel wasn't delicious, but we're just like <clears throat> reaching new heights of deliciousness. Is I, this the beer talking? I feel like you're buzzed. I'm happy. Is that the same thing as buzz? Because if I'm buzzed, then I'm happy. And if I'm happy, I'm buzzed. You might want to wipe your nose. Do you have a <laughs> napkin? <laughs> I said a little jewel jewel right here, and then you're going to watch back on the video and be like, how can you say anything? We have lighting now, so like, 
things on our faces even more visible now. That's true. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. So I recently went to a YouTube workshop. Mark was sick earlier in the week, so he wasn't able to come with me. But if you guys have ever heard of um, Sean Cannell or Benji Travis, they hosted a workshop, maybe like a five minute walk from our house. So mm -hmm. I totally went. I was trying to describe to Mark because I was like, well, when I heard a YouTube workshop, I thought it would be like fluorescent lights, a big U table, and then they would just be standing up talking. This was a full on like production. Like it was inside a church. So it was kind of weird. There was like a YouTube logo in the back with the cross. And then they came out and it was like music playing. They had headsets, purple lights, blue lights. It was just uh, something else. Kind of like a, like a, when you go to like a Susie Orman. Like yes, exactly. And I was just like, this is a little bit much, but it was great. Cause I got all excited about it. I, Bought their book, so we're supposed to read that soon. And We or you? Uh, me, and then I'll tell you. And then hopefully integrate it on our channel to make our channel a little bit better. Mm. And then we can hit our 10K. Ooh. So. I see you so. Who's fighting? Fighting. I see you so. I see you so. I see you so. I see you so. With that said, I'm uh, James. <laughs> Hurry, it we have to we have to finish. Turn in Mark and Nida. And thank you so much for watching our video. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Again, please subscribe because again, we are on the road to 10K. Help us get there. Yep. And we'll see you guys for our next mukbang. Bye.